So this girl with the dancing, see this wahala. What am I even dancing, Shakara? Waiting with this, I don't know. But eh, feeling like a happy song and shaky shaky. Yala. Shaking was my mama gave me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel at Miss Sharon K. If you are near, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and checking me out. So today, I'm going to cook a traditional African meal. I'm going to cook banana. Who is excited in the house? Yeah. I'm feeling so happy. See this beautiful African queen. Eh. <laughs> so guys if you're new here please consider subscribing into your returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and checking me out so today as you can see i'm rocking it i'm rocking african queen african lady hey this is me miss sharon ke so and I have here what I have on this traditional tray here. As you can see, these are bananas, bananas, salt, and some cooking oil. So I'm going to cook bananas today. So guys, <laughs> so most of you requested I should do more of the cooking videos. And here I am today. I kept to my promise and I'm gonna cook bananas traditionally yeah so today i don't have a camera person i'm struggling and i don't have a tripod you know i'm just trying so this is my look of the day Ooh, let me move far <laughs> hey, this girl is beautiful this girl is blessed so guys thank you so much for supporting me we already hit 100 subscribers. We are almost at 200 subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys, you don't know what that means to me. I'm so happy and I'm really motivated to keep on shooting more, more, more of these videos. So guys, please stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed and Hit the notification bell so that you will be the first person to be notified when I upload a new video. So guys, come with me. Let's go to our outdoor kitchen. <laughs> outdoor kitchen. The struggles. <laughs> I'm doing everything by myself. And this is my setup today. So let me place the phone somewhere so that we can continue. I'm so excited today. This is where we're gonna be doing everything. So this is how I'm looking today. I'm looking I'm so excited. Check what your mama gave me. Shaking what my mama gave me. This girl is so happy today. I'm so happy. This is me. I'm the African queen. I'm the mother of Africa. I'm representing Africa. And I'm coming to you live from Kenya, Africa, the capital of Africa. Please, guys, thank you so much. So, let me show what we have to guys my good people these are some of the things i'm gonna need while cooking today so 
This is a sufuria, most important. This one I'm using it to fetch water from this drum. This one is for washing utensils, not for cooking. I have clean water in this jerry can or container for, for cooking. And most important, I have this plate, a knife. Yeah, I'm gonna need a knife to peel the potatoes. And this is our cooker, traditional cooker. We call it a jiko. This one uses firewood. It doesn't use charcoal, it uses firewood or sawdust. Yeah, sawdust is the particles that come out when you use a power saw to, to cut a tree. And most important, the matchstick. So guys, let's do this. I'm all alone in this, my outdoor kitchen. This I decided to cook from outside because inside we don't have good, good lighting. And while shooting, you require good lighting so that the video will be of good quality. And this is my bananas here on my traditional tray. Let me remove. I have a small portion of cooking oil. Very little one, but we're going to compromise and use it for today. Yeah. And we have some salt here. Most important for the tasty of the food. Yeah, let me place it here. And here we have the bananas. The bananas. So on this traditional tray. And most important, this jiko and this matchstick. Oh, matchstick. Very important for anything. You see? So guys, let me look for somewhere to place my phone before I can start peeling the bananas. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Guys, if you are watching the video, please consider hitting that subscribe button and give a, a video a like so that it can be recommended to more viewers and tell me what you think about this video on, on the comment section. Yep. So guys, the struggles are so real. So I have this piece of cloth here and this tool that I'm going to use to hold my camera. Well, if you're looking for content, the struggle we go through to give you good and quality content. So let me search the camera. <laughs> so guys, so guys, the phone couldn't give a good view while on the stool. So I decided to lower it down on on a on the ground and hold it with a piece of cloth so that I can give you a good view of what I'm doing. And I think this one here is coming out so well. So let me place this one here and so that I can continue. Yep. This is our temporary kitchen. <laughs> Don't worry, we have an indoor one, but because of the lighting, I decided to use this outdoor one. And this is my sufuria, guys. So, look at your African babes. African queen. Yeah. So, guys, let's get to work. So, this is what I have. And, oh, I just realized that I ran out of some tomatoes. And I have only one tomato and one onion left. So, I don't know if this one will be enough for this. This ones. You see? These are the struggles for good content, but most important, so let me use this one to hold the bananas before I can lit up the fire here. And this is the only place that have shed because we don't have so many trees around. So let me get the water to, for washing them. So I told this one is for washing. It is clean. It is rainy water. It's so, so clean, as you can see from this small bucket. It's so clear and very clean. We do harvest rainwater. So, let me place this one here and my matchstick right there. So, guys, this is the steps I'm going to take you while peeling this banana. This is what you have to do. Yeah. African babs. So guys, I hope you are enjoying this video. I have my knife and this is the banana. So this is what you do. You cut the end. Wow, I talk up. And 
the end <laughs> i think someone is trying to prank me but who am i and so this is how you peel it you start from one end this is how you do it you see it's coming out the process it's coming out so well so i'm i'm going to cook this banana for my family it's enough for a family of four yeah it's more than enough and we are happy we are so blessed this one is one of the sweetest meal it is very soft it is eaten for lunch breakfast and dinner here in africa so those we believe that banana originally came from uganda ugandans in the house say hi so we kenya believe that ugandans are the one who came up with this meal of cooking banana. It is it can be eaten alone or it can be used to make stew and the stew can be eaten with ugali, rice, meat, whatever, anything. It can be eaten even with beans, you know. But today we don't have any other thing to add. So we're going to eat banana alone. So, yeah, guys, let's subscribe and take me to a thousand subscribers. I believe you can do it, you see? And this one, see the products of what I have done. Mm -hmm. So, guys, you continue with the same process on be, until you are done with all the bananas before you can divide it into smaller portion or you can just fry cook them the whole but for me i prefer cutting them into smaller portions so that it's cook and i like overcooked bananas i don't know why but yeah i and this one you see if you look let me show you or let me give you a small secret you see these bananas they they are not fresh from the farm you can see they look they have some black black things here it is because of the sun from the market it is so sunny nowadays january we believe that january is the most sunny month so this one they look like black black i don't know if i'm giving a good description they are not fresh from the farm the ones that are from fresh they are so green so this one they are not fresh and let me tell you the secret this one that are not fresh this one are the sweetest banana when you cook them they and they come out so very yellow very sweet sugary you know this one is natural sugar it is not the other sugar you add you see so this one will be so 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 sweet compared to the fresh one from the farm you know we believe this one are so sweet. If you know, you know, guys. Kenyans, comment down there. Ugandans or Nigerians. Nigerians call this one plantain. Or what is the difference between banana and plantain? I don't know, guys. Please let me know what is the difference between banana and plantain. You know? For me, I usually think it is the same thing. But it has different names from different cultures. Here in Kenya, we call it bananas or popularly known as as matoke from goosey land goosey land hello hello goosey people in the house you see matoke today i'm preparing matoke i wish i had meats so guys let me finish with the peeling process so so guys i'm done with the peeling and at least the sun is not still not that hot and oh my costume so tell me this is the uh, these are the remains this one i'm gonna feed it to the, to the cow and these are the bananas that i have been i have been peeling you see oh no i wish i had the camera person on the tripod and guys so surprise i got the ripe bananas here there are so many so many here this one are so ripe you know I didn't peel them. The skin was coming out on its own. So this one, I'm not going to wash them. I will just add them in the, in the other meal. 
while already cooking so the next step i'm gonna do now is to divide this banana into smaller portions you see you cut them into smaller portion this way i hope you guys can see i'm dividing into small portion before i can start the cooking process and the oh those who feel sorry for me this knife is not that sharp so i'm so careful not to cut myself because this is the african way you don't have a chopping board here guys i've never used a chopping board all my life and this this one is my chopping board you see this is how we do it my chopping board is my hand i have never used a chopping board a real one not be because i don't want but because we don't have and we improvise you have to use what you have no pressure you know and i think this one does really well it is very fast you see i'm doing it so 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 fast then when i'm done dividing these ones i'm gonna rinse them before i can cook 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 this is your african village girl miss sharon cake guys please consider subscribing take me to 1k subscribers we are almost at 150 subscribers i'm so happy for the love you have been showing me these past days you know i became serious on youtube this january yeah. during the new year eve not even new year around 10th january that's when i was like okay let me now create time and focus on youtube because right now i don't have pressure i'm done with college um i'm still applying for some jobs here and there and yet to get to one so let me do what i can do what is available i'm done so i need a small tray to put this one on before i can continue hey i love this i am shocking you know who said i'm so thick <laughs> not that much so guys i'm cutting what Ooh, i almost fall down <laughs> let me cut the tomatoes i've already washed them you know yeah and this chicken wants to steal my tomatoes i don't know why every time i'm doing this this chicken is here disturbing this 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 <laughs> disturbing me what's wrong with you you kitchen you know my chopping bird doing for me wonders i'm done look at my hand guys the stains from bananas you know yeah i'll wash them and this one i'm gonna give it to the cow so so guys i've already cut the onion let me put them here and now it's time to lift up the fire so what we need is firewood let's take some firewood here here they are tell me you are an african village girl without telling me you are without saying so guys i have this one firewood and an axe so village girl <laughs> typical village girl i can survive everywhere i'm so prepared even doing this way i can still do it <laughs> I need these small ones to lit, to start by lighting the fire. So, 
Let's do this. This one is our improvised modern Jiko. So, let me open. I'm tightening it. So, while before I can lift it, I need to arrange some smaller portions inside. I don't have someone to show you what I'm doing in here. Guys, sorry for that. Next time. African beauty. Mm. When I look at you, all I see is paradise. You are my African beauty. Don't know what you... I waited. I can't believe that my search is done and I find the one. When you say to me, will you be my wife for the rest of my life? For better or worse, baby, take me to start. I'll be forever yours. Let me go and bring the what you fire. What is the matter? Yeah. We needed this one piece of papers for lighting up fire. You Where there is smoke, there is fire. Are the onions? So, dividing the firewood into smaller portions. this way 
so I need to change. Oh no, I did a mistake, guys. guys I've already started cooking yeah. the smoke the smoke is killing now <sighs> let's run <sighs> but it is smoky like shit. You fry a little golden brown my onions. So I'm all alone. I don't have someone to to make some stories with. So and as you can see, it was so 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 sunny. Look at these chickens. They are eating the the what? So so sunny. So guys, if you're watching, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to like and share this video and comment down below what do you think about this video, you know? And my skin is so flawless, you see? <laughs> it's like I haven't even showered, but I'm shining.
I'm enjoying every bit.
this is the end product it is already ready we i didn't know it took almost 5 minutes matoke this one is so soft we have some stew you can eat it with the chapati or whatever you want and i'm boiling my bathing water so i'm allergic to cold water and guys so see you when we are dishing in so this is a smaller portion so let's dig in Guys, you should try this. So, let us enjoy our meal. You? Eh? Mimi nilikuwa namba 1. Kwa mtiani gani? Kipsa. Umejuaje? Sina kutana wa Grace 6. Mmoja wao. 